Here are a few insights that I've gained while leveling in Final Fantasy XIV online. These tips will help you level up faster and make the most of your time in the game. Something to consider when leveling in Final Fantasy XIV is your server choice. There are a number of lower population servers that offer a significant advantage for players looking to level up quickly. No need to worry though, these worlds have plenty of players. These are often referred to as preferred worlds and grant you an extra 100% experience boost that extends all the way up to level 80. To select to preferred world, create a new character up until you are faced with a world selection window. The star next to the name of the server tells you whether it is a preferred world or not. While playing, you will see an icon in the top right of your screen with the text The Road to 80 and this tells you that you are on a preferred world and the XP boost is active. Once you've chosen a server, it is important to know that it is possible to level multiple jobs at the same time. Jobs in Final Fantasy XIV are similar to classes in other MMOs. This means you are not stuck with one class and and you can switch between them as you please. This comes in handy whenever you want to visit lower level areas. For your higher level jobs, these areas don't grant you much experience, but for lower level jobs, they do. And the great thing is, you can easily save your gear sets so you don't have to constantly switch out equipment when you change jobs. This is a great way to level up multiple jobs at the same time, and also to try out different playstyles, as some jobs are better suited for solo play, while others excel in group content. The Daily Roulette is a selection of dungeons and trials that you can do daily for bonus experience. This is especially helpful if you're leveling a healer or a tank, as there is always a need for those classes in group content. And the best part is, is that you can queue up for the Daily Roulette solo and you'll be matched with other players, so you don't really have to worry about finding a party. People that play those dungeons are also very friendly and talkative, so it is a great way to meet and connect with new people. If you are into dungeons, it is also wise to go through the Palace of the Dead. This multi-level dungeon allows players to enter alone or with a group that gives great experience. The floors of the dungeon gradually get harder the more progress you make. Before entering the Palace of the Dead, players must first complete a short quest called the House That Death Build, which is available in New Gradania. Another great way to level up is by completing hunting logs. These grant you significant XP and can be done while venturing from point A to point B. They are also a great way to level up while exploring the world. The hunting logs are a set of tasks that you can do on each level range from 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and so on. These tasks consist of killing a set number of monsters and once you complete them you will be rewarded with XP. The hunting logs are tied to your current job that means that each job has their own hunting log. Whenever you are killing a specific monster of a certain level make sure to check the hunting logs of your other jobs as well. It's possible that they also need to kill that same monster. It may not come as a shock but it is important to remember. Complete your main and job quests. Not only do your main scenario quests provide you with valuable XP, but they also reward you with gear and food that boost your stats and increase XP gains. Additionally, completing your job quests grants your character new abilities and allows you to specialize your job at level 30, transforming it into a stronger and more advanced version of your current job. Make sure to prioritize these quests as they will gradually aid in your leveling journey. Lastly, there is a way to catch up with your highest level job. When your lower level jobs are not on the same level as your highest level job, they will gain more experience, allowing them to level up faster. To benefit from this, just gain experience from completing the daily roulettes, your hunting logs and all the other activities I've mentioned before. This can be extremely useful when you have a higher level tank job, but also need a healer at max level. No need to grind again, the game just gives you more XP. And to finish the video, when you're finished playing, don't forget to log out in a designated resting area. By logging out in one of these areas, you will begin to build up a resting buff that increases your XP gain when you log back in. The longer you're logged out, the longer the buff will last, but keep in mind that there is a limit to the buff's duration. Most cities and houses with a special icon are considered resting areas. You'll know when you're in one of them when you see a half moon icon next to your XP bar and then you can safely log out and rest easy. There are tons of other ways to boost your XP and level up, but I found these most helpful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!